I use Mattis AI to write a 5,000 in-depth SEO optimized article with custom graphs based upon 2025 data. And in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do so. I finally got access to Mattis. And the first thing that I did was I prompted it to write an SEO optimized article that will be designed to outrank the top competitors. The specific prompt in which I used was, I want you to go out and analyze and read the top six blog posts for the specific keyword, best AI tools of 2025, do an SEO focused analysis on extracting the top keywords, H1's best practices of the article, and use that information to write your own unique SEO optimized article. When writing the actual article, include lists, charts, HTML elements, write following the best on-page SEO practices, and include external links. So this is the prompt in which I'll be using. And if you didn't know what Manus is, essentially it's an AI agentic tool. So instead of ChatGPT, if I ran this on ChatGPT, ChatGPT will you know read all information that's been previously trained on. And if I include web search, then it may go out uh, and read some web pages. But what Manus does is again it's an agentic tool. So think of it as you're starting your research on Manus, but then it's going to go out to a variety of different places and get the information. So it's actually going to go ahead and read through specific web pages. It's using MCP, which essentially is a technology which allows it to go through different web pages and read all of that content. And we can actually see the process of it working. So it's working right now. It's analyzing SEO elements of the top six blog posts. It's initiating the computer. So this is the computer that we can actually see of what it's doing. So it just went ahead and it's reading the article from Synthesia from Zapier, from WebEx blog, from Reddit, from Quora, and from Full Stack Academy. So now we can see it's browsing, right? And this is live. So it's working on analyzing the SEO elements of this specific page. So it's gonna go ahead, it's gonna read through each one of these pages, then it's gonna extract the key SEO keyword. So it is a little bit slower, but again, it's able to offload a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to analyzing. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the output is going to look like. This is going to take some time. So to keep that in mind, you're not going to be able to write an article within a couple of minutes. It will take a couple more minutes just to do the research. And then it will take a couple more minutes to actually write the full article. It's very interesting to see how it actually works, because if you would have to do this manually, then you yourself would have to go out, go through all these different pages, maybe copy over the content then paste it into LLM and then tell it to extract that information. But again, it's much more hands off, you can tell it to do a task, and it will go out agentically and autonomously, and find the best way for it to achieve the outputs in which it's going for or the goal in which you give it. And again, we can see the chain of thought in which it's using or the research flow in which it's using first, it's searching up the top blog posts for the keyword, then it's going to analyze the SEO elements of the six blog posts, it's now on to Zapier. And after that, I suppose it will take that information and then write its own unique article. And again, this can be done in the background. I can close this. I can move on uh, to a different task in which I'm doing. I don't have to actually be on this specific um, screen. So I can do this in the background if we're writing a very in-depth article and you can come back and everything will be finished for you. It's very cool to watch it work because it's interesting to see how it's able to grab that information. So you see it highlights specific keywords and key terms and it scrolls through the full page itself, looks at the infographics, looks at the images on the page to be able to get a full analysis of the actual blog post. So I would be very confident that we'll be getting some very in-depth, knowledgeable, um, actionable research content that we can then use to write our own articles. So while Manus is executing these tasks, I want to mention two tools in which I've been working on myself. Number one is going to be Word Rocket, which I've been working on redeveloping. And this is going to be a all in one SEO hub, where you can enter in your own API keys and get access to a variety of different pre built templates, and a variety of different AI models to choose from. And some of these models are actually free. So for example, Gemini Pro 2.5 is currently free. So it's free to use DeepSeek is also free. All you need to do is use an API key from open router. Uh, the instructions will be on the actual tool itself. You enter in your API key and you actually start generating content for completely free. It is still in beta, so there is no paywall. You can use it for completely free. We have a temporary URL for now, but it will change over to wordrocket.ai. So if you want to try it out, you can try it out for completely free. I will leave a link for it in the description below today's video. Now, the second tool is my image rocket tool. Now, this tool is actually catered to create the most beautiful images using AI. 
And as soon as ChatGPT4 all model is available, then we will integrate that within this tool. But for now, we're able to generate some really high quality images using um, this tool, some of the best AI generated images. And I've also went ahead and created a new playground mode, which allows you to be able to create a variety of different types of images as you like. You can try the tool for completely free. There is a free plan, or if you wanted to, you can claim a lifetime deal, which allows you to pay once to get access to the tool forever. So it's a very, very good deal. You just pay once, no monthly fees. Now let's head back over to Madness and see where it is at. Again, as I mentioned, it is going to take a little bit of time to execute the task. It's still reading through the articles. It does take some time. So not only is it able to go through websites, it's also able to go through forums. So again, this just enriches the data in which you'll be getting back because it's able to go into the nooks and crevices of specific you know, key terms or where conversations are happening based upon your specific um, topic in which you're going after. So Manus has completed writing the article. It is 5,591 words. It has three custom created data visualizations of global generative AI market size, AI tool category adoption rates, AI tool availability by price range, a comparison table, properly formatted HTML, optimized SEO elements, and so forth. So as you can see, it's really, really good. It's really long, really in-depth. We can go ahead and take a look at the actual article itself. Now, this took me over 15 minutes to do, so it's definitely not quick. It will take a lot of time, especially if you give it a lot of inputs. It is a little bit slower because it goes out, it reads everything. It's an AI. Uh, they're still rolling it out, so there will be some hiccups in between. So I wouldn't say that this is ideal for every single one of your articles that you create, but if you're writing in-depth article on specific topics that's new and brand new and you want to stand out and you want to outrank your competitors, and I think this is still a really, really good way for you to write your articles. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code first. So this is what the code looks like. So it's written the code in HTML language. I think I can copy this over and convert it into Markdown, but this is what it essentially looks like. Let's go ahead and download it. So it's going to download in HTML. You can convert it from Markdown to HTML to read it a little bit better, but let's go through the actual article itself. So the ultimate guide to the best AI tools in 2025, transforming productivity and creativity, understanding AI tools. So we get the table of contents and it works. The AI landscape has undergone remarkable transformations since the early 2020s. Today's AI tools leverage sophisticated technologies that enable them to understand the context, generate human quality content, analyze complex data patterns, and even predict future outcomes. So this is the evolution of AI technologies that impact across industries. How to choose the right AI tools for your needs. So key selection criteria, questions to ask before investing. The best AI chatbots and assistants of 2025. We get OpenAI, Gemini, Claude, DeepSeek, and Grok, implementation best practices, and a conclusion. And we get some references and resources. A decent article, I would say. It definitely went ahead and took its time. I think the, the biggest or the most valuable things that we got here were these custom charts. So we can definitely go ahead and just save these and embed it into our articles. But global generative AI market size prediction 2023 to 2030. So we can see here, this is where it's starting. So the market size of generative AI market is just set to increase in the next seven years. So almost doubling in terms of market value. If we go over, we can see AI category adoption rates. So the categories and the adoption rates based upon those specific categories, we see the highest in AI chatbots. That means most companies are using AI chatbots uh, and when it comes to adopting AI into their business or everyday life. AI tools availability by price range. So we see the pricing between the AI, um, different AI tools. Blue is free, the green is affordable, and the red is premium. So we see we have a lot of free options, but also a lot of premium options when it comes to AI chatbots. When it comes to writing tools, we have a lot of affordable options, not a lot of uh, free or premium tools. And then for AI image generation, video generation, productivity, and so on, we're able to see the availability by price range in 2025. So I think that this is probably the most valuable piece of content that we're able to get back. When I actually go ahead and read the written content, it's not bad, right? It's not bad at all, but I would say I could probably get the same content if I went ahead and just copied over six of the top ranked blog posts, prompted into Claude and tell it to use that information to write my own unique article. I'd probably get an article that's very similar in terms of 
creating content and it will take me a lot less time. But I really like these images. I think that this is really good images because it's actually going out and getting that information so I can I can say that this information is going to be more accurate than information I would get on ChatGPT or Claude because of the research in which it's doing. I'm not relying on its pre-trained information that it has. So overall, I would say that if you're using Manus, it only works well if you're doing deep research content and you're creating a lot of infographics, a lot of graphs, and you need to visualize your data, then I would say Manus is going to be a good tool for you. If, if you're writing everyday SEO content and you're writing a high volume, then I would still recommend using Claude or ChatGPT. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, what you think of Manus. This is obviously one use case. There's a lot of other use cases in which you can use. For Manus, um, the possibilities really are endless. You can head over to manus.im and you can see a bunch of different use cases and you can try it out for yourself.